Who made up the name Jesus? What was the name that God ordered His Son to be named? What name should you use to respect God and the Messiah? In Matthew 1.21 in Hebrew, the language of the original Bible, God instructed Yosef to name his son Yeshua, meaning salvation in God's language of Hebrew. The name Yeshua is embedded with divine code, as Mr. Jurovan will explain. Mr. Jurovan was born not far from Yeshua's birthplace, and if Yeshua was here today to talk to you, he would sound like this. God was very clear. He ordered the father of Yeshua to name him Yeshua. And so, around five before counting, minus five, Yeshua was born. He was born to his parents, Miriam and Yosef, or Mary and Joseph. By the way, my name is Don, Don Juravin. Um, as you can hear from my accent, I was born in the Holy Land, actually not far from Yeshua's birthplace. If Yeshua was here speaking to you, he probably will have the same passion and determination and love to God and probably the same accent. So, Yeshu is a very special name. It's coded, divinely coded, and therefore it cannot be replaced. Yeshua, from right to left. Yud, Shin, Vav, Ein. This is 10. The code to God is 10. 300, 6, and 70. Together, 386. Yeshua, 386. Why is all of this so important? Because there is a lot of code going on with Yeshua's name, which doesn't exist with any other name. I will teach you first about the great confusion that Christians have with Yeshua and Yeshua. And it's very important to know the difference. Yeshua is the Son of God, the Messiah. Yeshua means salvation. By contrast, Yehoshua, Yehoshua, is a prophet. Yehoshua ben Nun, that's his name. And the meaning of his name is Yehovah, which is the name of God, will save. Yeshua means Yeshua is the salvation. Here, Yehoshua is just a prophet, not the son of God and not the Messiah. Back to the parents. Yosef is 156. Miriam, Mary, 290. Yeshua, 386. Together, 3832. Eretz Israel, which means the land of Israel. And that's the first scientific proof that we have that the New Testament is actually a continuation of the Old Testament. But Yeshua was very determined to respect the Torah, the Old Testament. That's the only Bible that he knew. And Yeshua spoke on the streets. Aramaic. It's part of the, uh, it's part of the canvas. He spoke Aramaic on the street. But when he talked about God and read the Bible, of course, it was in the holy language of God, which is Hebrew. We found out that Yeshua was very much versed on the code to God, very much. 
and we will tell you about it in another post. Going back here, we can find that he had siblings, four brothers and one sister. We don't know the name. And now you can ask, why do we call him Jesus? What is the meaning of the word Jesus? Well, 300 years before Yeshua was born, it was a Greek translation of the original Bible. And they confused Yeshua with Jesus. They called Yeshua Jesus. Later, when Yeshua was born, they called him like the prophet, Yehoshua. So, Jesus, they just decided to give him a name that sounds maybe the same, because Jesus means nothing in Greek. So, Jesus is the prophet Yehoshua. And later, they said, you know what? This one sounds like this, so we will continue to call it Jesus. That's not good. But what is worse is that 1611, only 400 years ago, King James decided, what the heck? It sounds better if we call it Jesus. And he made up the name Jesus, which has absolutely no meaning behind it. So, King James decided to call it Jesus. King James also made up the uh, uh, the unicorn, for example, and many other things that are made up and are not part of the original Bible. Jesus and Jesus have absolutely no code, no meaning, no divine number. As you can see here, there is a lot of scientific proof of the code that Yeshu, the Son of God, is very much connected to the divine.